no one beyond you would understand mm -hmm. more clearly what it would take to be like Olympic caliber mm -hmm. level prepared for 2012. If you back that timeline up, when would you realistically have to start completely devoting yourself to gymnastics to have a chance to be, to really make a run at it? I mean, at some point you've got to, you would have to do that to be ready, right? Ideally this year. Within, you know, that's, that's what's so hard is, you know, at 17 years old I'm trying, I have to make like life-changing decisions and you know, in one day you can decide I'm going to go to the Olympics or not, and that means, you know, drop all the opportunities that I've been given and, you know, devote every day to training and go for another one. Or that means, you know, you have to give up that next Olympics to do this. So it's, it's hard. But um, ideally within, you know, this year I would start training. That's why I hired a trainer and I've been working to get back, you know, into gymnastic shape and form to give myself the opportunity that if that day comes where I decide it's the Olympics, then I can just jump right back into training um, instead of having to take months to get back into shape and get back into form and um, add on all that time. It's just so hard because I'm torn. I mean, do you, I just, I want like somebody to just tell me, you know, this is the one you're supposed to take. It's just, it's hard because would it hold the same appeal for you? I mean, you, you've got a gold medal, and I mean, there are things you could do mm -hmm. by going to another one, but it, would it, does it still feel like that goal is out there in the same ways it did when you were in that gym every day for hours and hours and hours getting ready for this one? Um, for me, it, it's different, because, I mean, I didn't go to the Olympics to win a gold medal or to win a medal at all. I went to the Olympics because, you know, I wanted to make it to that top place to show everybody that, you know, I can be just as good as everybody else. And I don't know, it's just the whole experience of it that I wanted. And if I went back, it wouldn't be to get, you know, another gold medal. It'd be to get back into that same place and to prove to everybody that I can do it again. And um, I can still, you know, compete just as good as I was and be the same person I've always been. But I don't know. It's a decision that's been haunting me ever since the day I finished <laughs> the last Olympics just because it's such, it's such a commitment and it's so hard. But it was the experience of a lifetime. And, you know, I'd give anything to go back again. But it's, it's hard.